I'll be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. I'd like to say if there's not a word, there's definitely an established principle. Yes. There's a foundation. There's a foundation for it. And then, that. and that's why, you know, you have to be open to the spirit of God because then yes. he'll give you a word for that specific situation. Yes. But it's only going to be like you just said, a revelation or a better understanding of the principle that that same situation is founded upon. But there's a mm -hmm. principle. Yeah. But sometimes, you know, God's not going to tell me whether to whether to leave my job and join another job. But it's going to be based on principles that's mm -hmm. going on on that job. But then if I if I ask him and pray to him, he'll show me that, yeah, this is time, son. It's time for you to make a change. Yeah, yeah that's not going to be written in the word, but no. he'll reveal it to me. Guaranteed. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If, if you be ask, because of his word. the Bible said that those that ask are given. The yeah. ones that seek, the Bible says they find. They the ones find. that knock, according to the scripture, it the door be. shall be open yeah. unto them. Mm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, one of the things I was saying too, like I said, he who are led by the Spirit of God are called the children of God. Mm -hmm. So one of the practices of faith is then inquiring on the leading and guiding on a daily basis, right? In mm -hmm. other words, what Lord, I'm learning to hear his voice, right? He said, my sheep hear my voice. They, they, they know my voice, right? Mm -hmm. so, so practicing daily is practicing hearing and then listening to the leading of the Holy Spirit so that when a situation comes up such as a major shift in life, I heard from God. Yeah. Why? Because yeah. Jesus said, remember Jesus said with the grace of Lazarus, Father, I know you always hear me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's, you know what? That, that, that's my line. Come on, brother. That's my line. And I believe it without a, what, I mean, I really believe that, that there's not a word that comes out of my mouth. Yeah. concerning God and his word in my life uh -huh. that he does not hear. I, I just, tr I truly believe that without a shadow of a doubt because he's within me and I know that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, yeah, I, don't, I, well, whether, to, I don't I Whether don't, he don't, hear... Go ahead, sir. I'm sorry. I'm just going to say, I don't have to rent the heavens for, for, for my word, you know, my prayers to get to reach God. God is within me. Uh-huh. You know, there, there's, uh, you know, there's no forces that are fighting God's word in, in me. Yeah. That, you know, that time has gone. The redemptive work has, you know, that that's done. Exactly. As far as I'm concerned, when I speak, God right. hears me, well, there is no, there's, well, there's the, go ahead. I was going to say the fact that whether he hears us or not, it's not in question. I mean, that's that's not even something that we yeah. need to discuss. Yeah. Whether we hear him or not, yeah. that's what we, there you go. we need that's to discuss. It. Whether Amen. we're listening Amen. And, and taking heed according to that, according to his word. That's Amen. if there's a breakdown, I can promise you one thing. Yeah. It ain't yeah. on his part. <laughs> it ain't Amen. on his part. It's on our part. You know Amen. what I'm saying? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Because sometimes, because sometimes we Sometimes we don't hear clearly, and yes. we'll, you know, you know. That's I'm always leery, man. I tell you, I don't know. It's just me. It's just Jimmyism. This Jimmy 101. I'm just gonna be honest with you. I'm always leery of people that everything they say is God told them, because I mean, oh yeah, this thing of perfecting understanding His voice. It is a journey. It is a as a maturation process. But I find that a lot of people get it wrong. A lot of people that I've really respected and, and kind of. They said certain things they got from God when it turned out it wasn't God. I mean, because it didn't say it didn't happen the way they yeah. said it was going to happen. So the Bible says if it didn't happen the way you said it, we have that prophet is a false prophet. Yeah. Not necessarily he's a false prophet, but he missed it yeah. on that point. Yeah. So I know sometimes I don't care how godly you are, sometimes you mistake God's voice. Yeah. But as you grow and mature, it becomes more distinguishable, and yeah. you get it right more times more, than more, not. Yeah. Yeah. But the ones that try to claim they are hundred percent, I'm leery of them because right. I, I've honestly not known, read, followed under, or met a person that's a hundred percent that they can say what well, God said 
and it's 100 percent it was always god said most of them so i understand what you're saying you felt in your spirit that this was god was saying it lines up with the principle it yeah. checked I, I got a piece about it i really believe it's true and so i'm stepping out on it in faith believing yes. that was god Amen. you see what i'm saying Amen. to tell you oh man this is unmistakably god told me so and 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 you need to change your life to this I'm leery of that kind of oh, stuff, yeah. brothers. I'm just being honest with you. Oh, yeah. And, and especially when it deals with you personally, somebody speaking to you about you. Uh, yeah. And yeah. you and it's not a confirmation. You know, that that, that kind of bugs me. Well, well, that, well, I think that's what the whole point I'm saying is living by faith and practicing or uh, living it by faith and, and learning to daily walk and talk with him. You, you One thing you'll find out is unless he tells you to go tell somebody something, Mm -hmm. And like you said, when they do that, you know you already told that person something. Yeah. So yeah. it's all gonna be just a confirmation. So when you sit there and say, well, you know, so and so told God told me such and such is speaking in your life, you gonna sit there and say, well, well thank you. And when I hear him confirm that, then I need a confirmation. Either yeah. I already got the confirmation, or I'm gonna tell you, thank you for yeah. what God has told you. I'll wait for the confirmation. Yeah, I, I, I'll listen and I and 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 I'll look for it. <laughs> I'll wait for that. Right, and, and, and then if 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 it happens, then glory to God. Glory to God. But, you know what? But, but God and I, and I'll say this. Go ahead. Jay. I'll say this. The in most cases where I was talking to someone and God confirmed something with me, or or God kind of checked me in the spirit that that's the truth. It wasn't what the person was trying to tell me. Yeah. We were talking about sports and he yeah. used an analogy about the game. We yeah. were talking about the weather and it's a word he said yeah. relating to the weather. He had no idea that what he said uh -huh. meant anything that he was trying to convey. When uh -huh. he was trying to speak to me scripturally and trying to lead me in a particular direction based on the word, it didn't resonate with me whatsoever. We were just talking, just having a conversation like normal people do, not trying to be religious, not trying to appear to you that I'm godly or that I'm spiritual. We're just talking about life. Something he said, I said to myself, thank you, Lord. Thank, yeah. thank you, Lord. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 You know, and and that's yeah. Jesus, Jesus didn't, Jesus didn't go out there and uh, uh, like a woman in the well, he, he didn't say, you know, the Lord told me that the, the, the man that you would marry is not your husband, <laughs> right? He just go and say, go, go get your husband. Yeah. <laughs> right? He, he just say, you right, right, you said that, 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 that is not your husband. Uh-huh. And what you been with, you been with five husbands, right? Yeah. But, you but know, like I said, they come up as a conversation. <laughs> a I'm talking about time. practice faith daily. It's for you, right? It's not you here to tell somebody else. Cause that's not what that's not living daily by faith. It's like, well, how is he interacting with you? How mm -hmm. is he leading you daily, right? So yeah. when I practice, you know, if you hey, think about this, those of us play football or Jimmy who play basketball, you notice that that coach, you can hear that coach while you on the court when he's talking to you. <laughs> You know what I mean? You got the crowd. Listen, right? <laughs> Alice is smiling. Like, maybe he don't hear him. I don't know. What? No, because I, I, when I'm on the court, <laughs> you don't hear that coach? Is if, 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 if he ain't put it in me, I ain't listening to him. <laughs> he better have done it before. <laughs> hey, Jim, <what laughs> before we got in the game. Hey, Jim, but most of the time, I ain't, I ain't paying no attention to nobody. Did you play? You play? You play? You play basketball? Yeah. Basketball, football. And you, you hey, didn't, I can hear that tone with just a clear mm. Mm -mm. That, Did you hear, I mean, now anybody else, I don't know, Jimmy, you heard your coach, didn't you? Jimmy. Oh, he, his mic was unmuted. Yeah, he, yeah I'm back, I'm back. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you. And then, you know, that's kind of, it kind of goes back. Can y'all hear me? Yeah. yeah. It almost goes back to say, just like, you know what I'm saying? Um. You can walk into an assembly yeah. at a high school. Yeah. And you know, kids are chattering, stuff is going on, and your kid is over there, and you see him, he don't see you. You can call his name. Yeah. Yeah. And and, and I'm gonna tell you something. It's gonna be something about that where he's gonna stop in mm -hmm. his track 
and he's gonna look around because yeah. I mean he heard a lot of things. Come on, but he just heard something then yeah. that 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 he recognized. He's like, oh no no no, that sound like mama or yeah. that sound like daddy. Yeah, and you can yeah 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 yeah. And even in the midst of all the chaos, if you know his voice, yeah, you'll you'll hear his voice. You'll hear his voice. You will. Yes, sir. Now you can you can you can ignore it. Now yeah. you can do that now. But as it did, I well, I mean But you know what? It's funny because I was having a conversation just last night uh with some guys and I was telling them this to my son so and so and so I would I would do. When I was in the game, I didn't even hear the crowds. They could be laughing, calling my name. They yeah. come up, Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. I, you was right there by me, taking the ball out of bounds. Dude, I never heard you. Yeah. I was so focused. Yeah. But certain ones, come on yeah. now. Certain ones they called my name. Yeah. And I looked around, bro. Yeah. It, but it wasn't but one or two. It wasn't but one or two. Yeah, well, I'm talking hey. about the kids that that coach. Go ahead. Go ahead, bro, Jack. What, what you guys are talking about, and Jimmy, I remember you said you, you told that story um, a long time ago, and I remembered that, man. That stuck with me. And I actually spoke um, at church this past week, um, Sunday evening, and I used that. And I went to, uh, uh, I just want y'all to get the, the reference, one reference that I used for what Jimmy was talking about and what you guys are talking about is out of 1 Chronicles chapter 14. Um, and I'm going to read part of it. And it says here, and it shall be when thou shalt hear a sound of going in the tops of the mulberry trees, that then thou shalt go out to battle. For God has gone forth before thee to smite the host of the Philistines. And that's what kind of what that reminds me of. Um, you know, we, you know, we, we're using different kind of metaphors here. Right, but right. yeah, you know, well, the thing is, is, you know, who are we listening to? Who are we listening to? Uh, and, and, yeah. And, 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 and I recognize, you know, like what you're saying, Brother Addison. Hey, you know what? Unless they got a voice of credibility and you yeah. in the game, it, them voices don't mean anything. Yeah. But, yeah, I heard the mulberry tree, brother. I heard the mulberry <laughs> tree. <laughs> Amen. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. And, and you know? But it's interesting. And, and, it's interesting. What I'm saying is, I don't know how he didn't know. He may he may know his coach, but did you hear him? Is what I want to say. Well, it it, it, it depends. Now, if, if you dribbling down yeah. and he yelling at you, yeah, you hear him. Yeah. But if you're in the middle of 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 trying to score or trying to get the ball to a certain person. Oh yeah. You know, you're you're focused and you you I know for me, I really didn't hear. Once I once once I got the ball down on the other side of the court and we're in, in the midst of trying to score, no, nah, it's too late then. Well when I said right, but that's true, but like I said, I, I think you it depends on he's not gonna call you in the midst of a shot. He's he's already well, you know I, you you can see him uh, uh <laughs> yelling and whatnot <laughs> but sometimes pastor. you know we, we we think we know better and we just ignore pastor it. yeah pastor you gotta understand understand now myron never met a shot he didn't like he never <laughs> met what he didn't like and i ain't gonna lie i ain't gonna lie now i didn't know him back then but i've been around it the boy can shoot so I mean, he 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 felt like he was the man already. So yeah. he ain't met a shot he didn't like. Yeah, yeah, no, he ain't hearing nobody. <laughs> look, so, so as, as, a, as a metaphor for that, we do want to be able to hear him, God, the Holy Spirit, talking to us. Oh, definitely. And as a leading us, and be able to hear his voice with competing voices that are out there. Yeah, but likewise, in in the same conversation like we were just having. Uh -huh. Are you listening? Right. You know, because, uh, and, and I do think is this is a good parable because in the midst of the trial uh -huh. you know, or tribulation, right. the Holy Spirit has already given you what you need. Right. So why is he going to, you know, say something then? Right. right. You know what you I know. mean? Is, is, is he going to, is he going to? Keep you focused. Let me, let me, let me chime in. Let me chime in. You, you asked a good question. Are, are we listening? Uh, I'm going to look at it. This is me. Is it, is it, you know, a lot of times we like to think that we're different from those folks that are that were in the past. I don't think we're that different, right? Um, we're talking about a prophet here, and when God spoke to the, all of the prophets um, and to whoever He spoke to. 
um, you know, uh, you know, we talk about faith and all that, but when things are going good, when things are going fine, it's easy for us to say what we're saying. However, when what what Habakkuk is, is concerned about is like, look, you know, because he, I, I, we already know that he's been conversing with God already, right? Yeah, but he was. Here it is now we know that these these things are happening. Man, they they're getting jacked up. The evil are being, you know, put up on a pedestal. Yeah. They're, yeah. they're profiting. Bad things are happening, and he's asking, "Hey, God, what's the deal?" You know, and God is saying, "Look, I hear you. I I see. You know, now the you know the 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 uh." It looks bad, and it's yeah. getting going from bad to worse. Yeah. But the just shall live by faith, and, and it sounds to me like, in spite of everything. Yeah. Because see, that's kind of like what we're going through now, folks. Um, in spite of how everything looks, you just live by faith. Yeah. Bro. Now, my situation, uh, it, 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 or the situation that I see is sometimes the stuff is, is so overwhelming. For instance, man, you know, I. There ain't no way in the world we can go up in Congress and talk this stuff. Look at everything that's been going on now. People marching in the streets. This happening. That's happening. You know, we got the pandemic. We got all kind of stuff going on that it seems like, what? Hey, what can we do? Well, the thing is, is we can't stop all of that. God's got that in, in, under control. What we need to do is just do what we need to do by faith where we are. Right. In our home, where we work, in the stores, etc. That's kind of what I'm getting from, from Habakkuk. Yeah, y'all can kind of chime in on that. Well, that's true. And like I said, when I like chapter three, the last part of chapter three, was well, the fact is that it, let, me, let me show it to you, because that kind of wraps it up. Because he said to just and live by faith. And then, let me say this: while you turn into it, Pastor, yeah. look here, uh, 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 Bro Jack. He said, "Occupy till I come." <laughs> Occupy yeah. till I come. Yeah. In other words, <laughs> you didn't took over the occupation, brother. You know, already stuck a stake in the ground and declared that your territory. And what he's saying is, you sit there and you occupy until I come, because I'm on the way. Yes, yeah, there's a reality out there. I don't care what the senses are telling you in the situation shows you, there's a reality of the kingdom that that's what you focus on and you occupy till I come. Exactly. Amen. Exactly. Now read that again, brother, as that last portion there. That's what okay. Habakkuk rejoices in. Habakkuk 317. Yeah. Although the fig tree shall not blossom, neither shall fruit be in the vines, the laborer of the olives shall fail, and the fields shall yield no meat, the flock shall be cut off from the fold, and there shall be no herd in the stalls. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. Uh -huh. I will joy in the God of my salvation. Yes, sir. The Lord God is my strength. Yes. He will make my feet like hinds. Yes. And he will make me to walk upon mine high places. Yes, sir. To the chief singers on my stringed instrument. Yes, sir. Yeah. Sang, I church. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But if you're talking about the same thing, and even in spite of uh -huh. all that other yeah. destruction, that's what yeah. he's to in say. spite of starvation, in spite of famine, yeah. you know, and that's the, but see, the, the, the and that's the current. We can read that. We can we can read that. Yeah, yeah. that's current. You can say that, but that's going current. through it, yeah, going through it, that's a different story. But that's you know, what he said. That's what he said is going through it. That's yeah. what well, that was really start off. The point is, if I practice live daily by faith right then yeah. when i'm going through something I, it's not it's not a a uh, strange thing to say yet i will rejoice huh well, you know pastor this is this is what i find there there's trial and tribulations every day of my life every day because i do walk in faith and it's biblical because the Bible says, for the word's sake, yes, sir. the enemy comes. Yes, sir. So I'm always trying to practice God's word. I try to speak God's word all the time. Okay. All the time. Just for instance, we're out and uh, we're, 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 I'm, I'm helping uh, pass out food. And you got these flies coming around because you know there's food there and i mean no nah, y'all loose here in jesus name y'all get on out of here 
you know, because Jesus spoke. Right. You know, and 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 things happen. And so I, I I speak up like when I'm on the golf course and all the nets are just flying all over the place. You know, uh uh. In Jesus' name, y'all get on away from around me. Y'all can go over there with them, but you get away from me. And I speak it, and I'm not saying it just to say it. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm not saying it not believing that these gnats and stuff ain't going to leave me alone. I believe it. Yes, sir. Well, you know and what? Lot, and a lot of times, it, you know, if I just believe what I said is going to come to pass, eventually the, I don't even notice these things anymore, even if they're around me. Yeah. I know y'all, and I and I respect the fact that that y'all don't live good lives. You know, good human beings. You know what I'm saying? And 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 I and I appreciate that. But I'm gonna be honest with you, that wasn't me. I've been in some trap houses. I've been down in them alleys. Mm -hmm. I done been down there where they done came and got stuff that I couldn't pay for. And credit score was in the dumps. I've been where you know what I'm saying. Stuff got cut off. I've been where 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 you know what I'm saying. I got caught up in some stuff and. And, and it had all kinds of issues to deal with for years after that. So, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Let me tell you something. I, I've been in the hole. I've been down in there. I've been down in there. I mean, some of y'all don't live good lives and really been good folks. I ain't gonna sit here and try to act like I've been that one. I haven't been, no. but I'm gonna tell you something. In every situation, he brought me out. And yeah. where I am today, I'm so thankful because yeah. he showed me a different way and he kind of helped yeah. me along the way. Yeah. And I'm thankful for that. So, I mean, don't get me wrong. Now we said we've been through it. We all at a certain age now where we've been through some stuff. Y'all know what I'm yeah. talking about. We ain't oh, yeah. 20s no more. And, and, you know what I'm saying? And, ain't nobody and, on this call ain't near 60. You know what I'm saying? Or yeah. over. But see, that's your testimony, though. You know, I, I, yes, I can look sir. at people. I can look at people I'm talking about in their worst condition as far as they're concerned. And I can boldly proclaim that God can get them through. And I can speak intimately. To a whole bunch of stuff that people are going through because I've been there. And where I'm at has nothing to do with any effort from Myron Apps. It is Come on now. by the grace of God that I have what I have, that I am who I am, that I can do the things that I do. It has nothing. I didn't plan my life out to be where it is. I didn't invest in my life to be where it is. Come on. Only, the only investment that got me where I am right now is my investment in God and God's word. Let me tell you something. I go, I go before that. It was that grandmama that was praying for me. Amen. It was my Amen. mom and daddy that was bending their knees for me. Amen. A lot of times it wasn't even it wasn't even me wanting what was best for me. Yes. I didn't even want to want to. I didn't even have a want to want to. Come on now, I'm gonna tell you something. <laughs> I snorted it. I smoked it. I drank yeah. it. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah. I, I did it. I, I ain't yeah. finna try to say what nobody else did. I'm telling you about Jeff and I. Yeah. And and, and so and so and so when people say, Well, God can't deliver me from this, let me tell you something, brother. Them lies. Yeah. Them lies. I can tell you about my life and where I was and how dark it was. Yeah. And what he showed me. And when I saw the light, and I gradually and over time. And he gave, created a thirst in me for something that was different than what I was seeing every day that brought me. And I thank God for my grandmamas and granddaddy yeah. and yeah. my mom and dad and my what mom. they did for me and the way they bent oh, their yeah. knees and cried out before the throne oh, for man. my sake. Come on For now. my sake. Exactly. Come on now. Oh, I can hear my mama to this day. Lord, give my son a mind to be saved. Man, that just sticks with me. Well, you that know, was my mama's prayer for all her children. Amen. You know, and I, and, and I like this, what y'all saying too, because you know, that goes with the scripture that say we overcame him by what? By the blood of the Lamb. And the by words the of, our test of our testimony. And, yeah. and that builds up our faith, right? It builds yeah. up. And what, what the whole topic is that we live daily, practice daily, walking in faith. In faith. So that and so. You know, and, and even, even, even reminiscing. Yeah. about that just talking now builds me up exactly and what it builds me up you know that testimony about me builds me up brother, you know, brother. let alone somebody else yeah. you know when i go back and think well oh my goodness <laughs> i'm talking about man come on well my life didn't even matter well you know and that's why i want to put in the next part of this slide was the fact is that you know if you look at it you you're focusing on this the uh 
you you start first on Habakkuk, mm -hmm. which is was good because the whole point is to live by faith. Mm -hmm. We read all that so we can see in the end that they just said, yet yeah, with all that stuff, now I'm gonna rejoice, right? And then look at what the thing we talked about last Sunday was the substance, right? Yeah. Faith is the substance. And yes. I, I don't know if I told y'all last week, but I told Elsa when we were talking Sunday, I mean Thursday, yeah. was I was oh. looking at the, I was looking at the, I had a vision of a bag strapped across my, my shoulder. Right, and in that bag, you know, you you taking things out of the bag to 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 and for what I need, right? Some kids are thinking like even a sword, but the point was that we got to the point where God said, "This is what that vision means. That bag is your spirit. That bag is your heart, right? And in that heart, the substance is where it's stored in, and when you need it." Right? The faith is the substance. I need to pull that substance from my spirit to be manifested into my life. Right? And I have to always allow the word. Faith comes by what? Hearing and yeah. hearing the and word hearing of God. The word. Huh? Or hearing yeah, his voice. This, this, is, this is some of my, my meat and potatoes right here, Pastor. Uh, that, and and when we came up, when 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 we were looking up uh, substance, yeah, and we 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 in, in the spirit revealed that that substance is reality, yeah, God's reality, yeah, the yeah. reality yeah. of God, man, that did yeah. something to me, yeah, did yeah. something to me, yeah, say that, that. Did something to say me. that, but Come check on, this out God. though.